it's common for autistic people to have differences in the executive functioning parts of the brain. It's the part of your brain that does all the organising. My life at the Sensory Project sees me travel all around the country on trains, but currently I'm studying for a PhD and last year I presented at an international conference in Glasgow and I had to catch the train to get there. I am somebody in my everyday life who is capable of buying train tickets. But my tickets had to be bought through the university systems which require very agile executive functioning. And I had this odd day where I spent two hours in a viva defending my work in a serious academic exam and I passed. And then I spent two hours sitting with student services who tried to help me understand how to fill in the form to enable me to get the train ticket and I failed. And in the coming year you might see me awarded the PhD but I'm unlikely to ever be able to order a train ticket through those systems. It's a perfect example of the social model of disability in action. In one environment I am fully capable and in another I am fully disabled. And another place where it kicks in in my working life is navigation. The reason I travel on trains is because my capacity to get lost is second to none. If I drove, I could get lost on a nationwide scale, but trains get me close to where I need to go and then I rely on the blue dot on my phone. And I still give myself extra time because even with the blue dot, I will get lost. Recently, I was walking to university and the blue dot stopped working and it's just a straight road with a turn off when you get to the university and I couldn't do it and I was late and someone said but you've walked it so many times before Joe. you must know the way and when I was younger my family used to get frustrated with me I inability to get to places and I was told I should pay more attention I was told it's not hard um, and I felt ashamed to not know the way and I still feel shame at not being able to find the way. I've just got better at making fun of myself through the years.